co-pilot is Akansha and a crew member is Indrani, that is me. So over to you, Rashleen. Ma'am, actually, um, can I present tomorrow PPT for Thailand? Yeah, sure. Okay. So today's country is Switzerland. So may I know anyone know any facts or anything about Switzerland want to share? Yes, ma'am, I know. Okay. Yes. Ma'am, Switzerland is the biggest producer of Maggie. Okay. Anyone else? Okay, next slide. This is a map of Switzerland. As you, when you see the map of world, it is very, very small. But, but in reality, it is quite big. But not that big. But the beautiful city of Europe, beautiful country of Europe. Okay. So welcome to Switzerland. This is. A beautiful country full of nice people, cows, chocolates, cheeses, watches and more. As one of us uh, guests shared the beautiful uh, fact about Switzerland, which is the biggest producer of Maggie. So yeah, also Maggie is one of the famous things. Okay, Switzerland. Name Switzerland and Confederatio Helvetica. Location Central Europe. Size 41,285 kilometer, capital Bern city, currency Swiss France. Okay, the flag of Switzerland displays a white cross in the center of a square red field. The white cross is known as a Swiss cross. Its arms are equilateral and the ra their ratio of length to width is 7 is to 6. The size of the cross in relation to the field was set in 2017 as one uh, as 5 is to 8. Capital city Bern. Bern. The capital city of Switzerland is built around a crook in the Aare River. It traces its origins back to the 12th century with medieval architecture preserved in the Alstor Old Town. The Swiss Parliament and diplomats meet in the new Rishersen Bundeshus. The and the nearby medieval tower known as the Jatilog both date to the 13th century. Famous airlines of Switzerland: EasyJet Switzerland, Edelweiss Air, Helvetia Swiss Airways, and Swiss International Airlines. It is the national airlines of Switzerland. Okay, languages spoken, French, German, Romance, Italian, but the biggest language which they uh, mostly follow is French and German. Currency is Swiss franc. What is the Indian value of Swiss franc? Anyone want to share? Okay. Now flag of Switzerland I have already explained. It is a white cross which symbolizes Swiss cross. And it is an equal ratio. Okay. Some more geographical facts. Ge continent Huron, uh, Europe. Region Central Europe, coordinates 47 degree north and 8 degree east. Area ranked 134. Water 4.2%, land is 95.8%. And highest point in Switzerland is Dufort and lowest point is Lake Maggiore. Next slide please. Next slide. Uh, okay. Lake Geneva. Lake Geneva is a crescent shaped lake shared between France and Switzerland and overlooked by the Alps. Geneva, the Swiss city at its southern tip, is a bit diplomatic hub with luxury shops and a cobbed old town. Pinside is a spa town and resort 
The Jig Palm Stub Swiss River area stretches along the north shore from Lausanne to Montrax and Lake Lucerne, where you can boat also. Junk Fraud Josh. The Junk Fraud is a saddle connecting two major four thousands of the Bernese Alps, the Junk Fraud and the Monch. It lies at an elevation of 3,463 meters above sea level and is directly overlooked by the rocky prominence of the Spinnex. Swiss Alps. The Alps cover 65% of Switzerland's surface area, making it one of the most alpine countries. Despite the fact that Switzerland covers only 14% of the Alps total area, most of the 4,000 runs mounted in the Alps are in Switzerland. It is a winter sky point in Switzerland where you can stand as well. Titlis. It's so beautiful. You can see in the picture. Titlis is the mountain of the Ure Alps located on the border between the cantons of a of Walden and Bern. At 3,238 meters above sea level, it is the highest summit of the range north of the Sustained Pass between the Bernese Oberland and Central Switzerland. Okay, St. Pierre Cathedral. St. Pierre's Church is the most famous for the presence of John Calvin. You can see the triangular stool on which he used to sit. There are towers found in Cathedral that are connected through corridors. This is a place from where you can see the rooftop of the cathedral. There are two towers found in the cathedral which are the north and the south towers. These towers have the spiral staircases for which you can get a 360 degree view. Swiss Museum of Transport. In this, you can see all the uh, transport available in the Switzerland, like uh, air aircrafts or your normal vehicles, cabs, cars, taxi. Everything is in the museum, but you can't touch, so you have to follow the street rules. Okay, Rhine Falls. Europe's largest waterfall, the Rhine Falls come into being at the transition point where hard chop turned into soft gravel. By ship, one can reach castles. The number one yellow line rock cruise is without a doubt the highlight of the Rhine Falls. We will see the video of Rhine Falls. Please share a video. How was the video? Very okay. nice. Right. Okay. So that's how it looked. You can see in the, uh, you have shown it, so in the video how it was. The waves and the water. Next, we will also see the next video. Good. Okay, Nita. Okay, Nita, want to ask something? Lisa. Okay, so we have one more thing for you. So, are you done with your presentation, Rashleen? Uh, no, just a cuisine part is left. I will okay. cover it. Okay. So, yeah. Traditional foods. Cheese fondue, bread cubes dipped in melted cheese. Wrestlet, melted cheese served with potatoes, pickles and onions. Roasty a flat hot cake made of grated potatoes. Please mute yourselves. And friend in hot butter or fat. Bircher muesli, out flakes, lemon juice, condensed milk, grated apples, hazelnuts, or almonds. These are the uh, main traditional foods of Switzerland. Bill Jorish, a teal dish made with a cream sauce and mushrooms, Swiss cheese, and Swiss chocolates. Next slide. 
Yeah, Swiss breakfast includes Swiss cheese, Nestle, Nescafe, Camelay biscuit, and Wiki Muse. Did anyone have eaten anything out of these? No, ma'am. Nestle Nescafe is common in India. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Next. Swiss cuisine. The cuisine of Switzerland is multifaceted. While ma some is that dishes... cheese melted? Yes. Okay, ma'am. And they, uh, this is all the omnipresent through the country. You know what is the meaning of omnipresent? Fondue, russet and roasty, which but is it's eaten in all part of country. It is everywhere in the country. These three things are most common. Like in India, what is the main common thing we eat everywhere in India? Can anyone tell? Think of it. If no, whether no, you no. go, yeah. And one more thing: whether you go to the north, south, east, west, Mom, you will I eat rice. Mom, I can't hear you. Mom, I can't hear you. Anyone else can't hear me? Or is just you? Mom, we can, can hear you. you. Can okay. We can hear you. The most common th uh, thing which we eat in all Mom, parts no, of I India can hear you. Mom, is rice. Rice. Yeah, bread is also there, but rice is also there. If you know. You can go north, south, west, east, every part of the country. Bread, Excuse rice. Me, yeah. Uh, ma'am, I might be speaking here. Uh, I have a lot of internet issues. I don't know why. So I just joined the class. Okay. Okay. So now, uh, I guess one also have the PPT on Switzerland. Can present. Okay, Rashmi, you stop share your screen. So we have one more thing for you. So for this, I would like to call Mr. Sami, Nessa's father, for sharing his wonderful memories in Switzerland. Hello, sir. Are you with us? Hi. Hi, everyone. Hello, sir. How are you, sir? All good. All good. Thank you. Okay, sir. So for you, I have made one presentation. Okay. So here you go. Yes, sir. Number is in Switzerland. Wow. Yeah. Well, basically, this happened way back in 2015 when I was two and a half, three years old. And then uh, after that, I've been traveling to Switzerland every 15 days. I was in Switzerland. I used to be in, I used to be in Europe, actually. So I've been to Europe or Switzerland, say, for more than 30 times. Oh, that's great, sir. So whatever you have shown in this last 20, 25 minutes, it's like a, it's like a, an, I became, it, 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 it was like a nostalgia for me. Yeah. Like I've been there every, every places you have shown, I've been there. So, and after this, like, like pandemic, I've not, uh, it was not possible for me to travel. So, so it was good, good experience for me as well. So sit with Nisa and watch all the slides. So we have this. So can you explain us that what is this? Exactly? Uh, this on the this flag, this is a Swiss flag. Uh, this was in uh, Jungfrau, uh, the tallest mountain as uh, you were talking about, the top of Europe mountain, that's what they call it as Jungfrau. It's at uh, 3000 plus meters high. And it is one of the, uh, it is not one of the, it is the, it is the tallest uh, station based at the top of the mountain, top of the Europe mountain at 3000 plus uh, meters. So it's one of the best uh, experience anyone could share. If, if anyone is visiting Switzerland, uh, a trip to Jungfrau is is a must. Without that, a trip to Switzerland is incomplete. Okay. And uh, while going to Jungfrau, you will see on the left side, this, this small houses. you see this wooden houses. you will see a lot of houses like this yes. covered with snow. So you have snow 24 by 7, 365 days a year. It's always, it's always snow there. The, the, the temperature is around... 8, 10 degrees. Sometimes I have seen minus 16 degrees in, in your frown. Okay. I was there in the month of uh, April and it was minus 16. So it varies. But yeah, it is always there. Uh, again, the, the picture below, you see this is a small church. Uh, it's on a small mountain. Uh, again, it was in some regions of uh, Switzerland. 
So while traveling on the bus, I I click this picture. This is very stylish. It's a very modern. Uh, yeah, very different as far, kind of. Talk about yeah. Switzerland as far. It's a very beautiful country, and if you compare it with any other countries in Europe, I would still say Switzerland is different. Uh, firstly, more scenic, more beautiful because of the nature. Secondly, least populated country in Europe. There are other countries as well, uh, like if you take Austria. Again, you have the same population as Switzerland, but then uh, Switzerland is different. It, it, it's it's totally it, it knocks you off completely. If you visit Switzerland. uh you you understand that that's a totally different country than the other countries in the world i've been across 40 countries around the world but then yeah i still prefer switzerland it's one of the best countries i've ever visited yes so now next is this again uh, on the right hand side uh, this is i think one of the slides you covered uh when you go to interlaken there is a point on the top of a mountain from where you see the entire interlaken village and this village is surrounded by two lakes on the left is the lake thun and right is lake uh, lake uh, there are two lakes around surrounding lake the this, geneva. Uh, huh? lake geneva no this is not lake geneva this is interlaken okay so lake geneva yeah lake geneva also i've got i have something to say lake geneva is the longest lake in the european continent It is seventy-three kilometers long and fourteen kilometers width wide, and the depth is around one thousand feet. It's the it's the longest lake, and uh, when you uh, go across Geneva, there are a lot of different uh, headquarters which was not covered in the slide, which was quite surprising. You have got the most important UNICEF. headquarters in geneva secondly you have got uh, world health organization who headquarters in geneva thirdly you have got uh, uh, red cross headquarters in geneva and uh, you have got a lot of lot of headquarters like the world red council or headquarters in geneva as well so uh, it's the main main though bern is the capital but geneva has got all the headquarters it's like a main financial district So, in terms of banking, if you talk about banking, you have got more banking uh, in Zurich. Geneva is different. All all cities are different in terms of each other. So, if you are talking about more scenic or more natural uh, uh, scenery, uh, go to Interlaken, Luzern, uh, go to Jungfrau, go to Engelberg. That's where the Mount Atlas is. And if you talk about a commercial city, then Zurich is one one of the best cities. It's a typical commercial place. uh you can go to bern bern is also like a typical commercial place yeah so there are a lot of there are a lot of different places you will see as per the simple there are uh, if you want to have a different experience like if you want to cover mountains then you have got uh, zermatt you have got matterhorn you have got jungfrau you have got shelton a lot of lot of different uh, mountains around and uh, if you want to see a typical city life then you have got zurich You have got Geneva. You have got uh, Inter. Uh, you have got Luzern as well. Again, small small buildings around. A very beautiful place. Right, we have this picture too. Uh, this is. Can you just come uh, take it down? I'm I'm not able to see that picture. You can't see it, sir. I think this is. Uh, no, this is a Shah Rukh Khan Kajol portrait. Uh, that is on Mount uh, Atlas. It's it's still there. Okay. So the, the this movie was shot here in Mount Atlas on Mount Atlas. The Adil Wale Dulhe ne le jayenge. So uh, this cutout is still there. So the tourist whoever goes to Mount Atlas they have the opportunity to click pictures with this cutout. And it's it's it's, it's, it's a okay. And uh, it's it's a it's, it's like a proud moment uh, for us as an Indians because uh, firstly Yash Chopra ji introduced Switzerland to Indians and. Uh, for that swiss government has uh, given him a given him a pride by keeping a statue he is we have got a statue of yash chopra ji in interlaken there is one casino in interlaken casino kursal and in which you have a statue of yash chopra ji in that casino which is not in the inside the casino but is in, in the park which is a big thing for indian Yes. So definitely. Whenever, whenever I have, I go to uh, Interlaken, I take my tourists along and I show them the Yashoka statue, which is a big thing for us as an Indian. 
and again there is one village which is called as a yash chopra village so all of his movies were shot in that village uh, again it's, it's it has got one of the best five star resorts where still our bollywood and hollywood celebrities stay there for their vacations and it, it was the same village where you have one of the scenes in dilwale dulhan ali jang where it was shot that church the typical church scene was shot in that village again uh, down what i couldn't see that picture on the left i think that is one of the uh, that is one of the two churches of zurich uh, yeah that those are the most famous churches in zurich and on the right uh, i couldn't i am not able to see that picture okay yes, sir and here comes ah, here is her mom and Tesla. her sitting in one of the cable cars and yeah. enjoying the beauty of switzerland uh, they they are in the cable car of mount atlas actually okay also one of the most important points of mount atlas you have got one of the first rota air cable car the cable car rotates 360 degrees so if you are standing at one point and enjoying the view uh, it takes 7 minutes to reach on the top so in the, within that 7 minutes the entire rota turns 360 degrees and you come at the same point so you cover everything around the mountain so you can take pictures you can click videos for 7 minutes and you cover everything while going on the top that's the that's the most famous rotair uh, that was the first cable car in the world which was introduced in switzerland wow that's very great so that's all about our today's presentation i hope you all enjoyed um, and thank you so uh, much sir uh, for i have a doubt keep this presentation still what is that like uh, half house ma'am half house that's church that's church yeah that is a small church uh, that is on the top of a small mountain okay it looks very fun yeah, it's it looks very stylish also stylish yeah. also here is the bhai's back and here nessa is looking very cute thank you yeah so uh, indrani ma'am there is one ppt we have from arshpreet kaur she wants to play so we can play for 5 minutes okay okay wait Hello everyone Hello everyone. Today I am going to share PPT about Switzerland. Uh, where is Switzerland located? Switzerland is a small mountainous country located in Central Europe. This landlocked country is about the size of New Jersey and is between France and Italy. It is also bordered by Australia, Germany. flag of switzerland a square flag with a white cross in the center and background in red its symbolism was described by the swiss federal council in 1889 as representing at the same the christian cross symbol and the field sign of the old confederacy capital of switzerland switzerland federated country of central europe switzerland's administration The capital is Bern. Language of Switzerland. The four national languages of Switzerland are German, French, Italian, and Romansh. German, French, and Italian maintain equal status as official languages at the national level within the federal administration of the Swiss Confederation, while Romansh is used. 
in dealing with people who speak it thank you thank you ashti that was a very good presentation by you thank you so, ma'am okay so tomorrow we are going to visit thailand so anybody wants to prepare any ppt you can so that's all about ma'am ma 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 i have also gone to thailand wow nessa that's great so i hope you enjoyed our today's tour and Good also it was very special yeah so and bye tomorrow can i present sure tandi okay ma'am it's thailand yeah it's thailand okay ma'am thank you bye bye bye